Hi piano students, this is a demonstration video to show you how to play the C major and G major scales as found in your Alfred's Piano 101 textbook, pages 80 and 86. The C major scale consists of the same five notes from the C major five finger pattern, plus three more notes, A, B, and C. All right. Another way of also thinking about it, it, it consists of two tetrachords, a tetrachord being pattern of four notes, one, two, three, four, that has the pattern of whole step, whole step, and a half step. So if you take two tetrachords and join them by a whole step, you end up with the C tetrachord, followed by the G tetrachord. Okay, but that's not how we do the fingering on the C major scale. They demonstrate that for you here on page 80. On page 80, you'll notice that the fingering is one, two, three, pass the thumb under, and then one, two, three, four, five. So because of this thumb here, that allows us to fold it underneath the rest of the fingers, that allows us to play more than five notes in a row like this. Okay, so if we take a look here at the C major scale, you start off with one, two, three, axum jacks, and you play those first three notes, one, two, three, but rather than playing the fourth finger on the F like we normally do, we pass our thumb under and play one, two, three, four, five. So as in essence, you have one, two, three, plus one, two, three, four, five equals the eight notes that you want to be able to play the C major scale. All right? So try playing that with me, just the first eight notes going up. One, two, say the fingers. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. And then on your way down, you're also going to play five, four, three, two, one. But then you've run out of fingers, but how many notes do you have left? Three. So then you're going to cross over with three, two, one. Do it from the top of the scale and work your way down. Say the finger numbers with me. One, two, say the numbers. Five, four, three, two, one, three, two. Now play the whole scale in the right hand, both going up and down like this. But not that fast, of course. <laughs> one, two, say the numbers. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one, three, two, one. And that's the C major scale in the right hand. In the left hand, the left hand, as it's written here on page 80, starts from middle C but you'll notice that the notes are going down first instead of going up. So the fingering on the left hand on the way down is the same thing as the right hand going up. It's one, two, three, but then instead of going to my fourth finger on the G, I pass my thumb under and play the last group. One, two, three, four, five. Try that with me on the left hand. One, two, say the numbers. One, two, three, one, two, three, and then on the way up, it goes five, four, three, two, one, three, two, one. So once you run out of fingers, cross over with your third finger and get to that. So play both going down and back up again with me. Ready? One, two, say the numbers. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, five, four. that's how you do the left hand. If you want, you could also even practice them hands together. That's a good way of reinforcing the finger numbers. Of course, you're not doing the same notes at the same time, but the finger crosses happen at the same time. You could play your ones together, sharing the C, the twos, the threes, even the thumb passing under happens at the same time. Twos, threes, fours, fives. Try that with me. One, two, say the numbers. Ones, twos, threes, ones, twos, threes, fours, fives, and try it coming back in. Two, ready, say it. Fives, fours, threes, twos, ones, threes, twos, ones. And try the whole thing, both going out and back in there, okay? One, two, say the numbers. Ones, twos, threes, ones, twos, threes, fours, fives, fives, fours, threes,
Turn in your books now to page 86 and I'll show you the G major scale. In the G major scale, remember every major scale can be made up of two tetrachords joined by a whole step. So a G tetrachord consists of G, A, B, C. But then there's the D tetrachord that consists of F sharp. If you didn't have that F sharp, it would sound a little bit off there. So when we play the whole G major scale, we have to have that F sharp. And if we know that we're going to always play an F sharp, then we include that in the key signature. You see here uh, before the 4-4 time signature in both the treble clef and the bass clef, there's a sharp sign, and that's on the F line. All Fs, not just that F, but every F on your piano is going to be made sharp because of it. So just make sure that you remember that when you have the key signature. If we look at the notes of the G major scale, it's the same thing as far as the pat finger patterns is concerned, just starting on G, and of course we have to take into consideration the F sharp. So when we play that, again, the right hand goes one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Make sure you prepare for that F sharp by maybe sliding your hand a little bit forward to get to it there. And then on the way down, it goes five, four, three, two, one, three, two, so I'm going to play the whole thing, both going up and back down again, but at a steady tempo. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Five, four, three, two, one, three, two, one. The left hand also starts on G, but this time it starts on the G below middle C. And the way that it's written here on page 86, is written going down first and then coming back up but fingering mirrors exactly what the left hand excuse me what the right hand is doing don't forget though that the second note that you're going to be playing is not f but f sharp okay so make sure you're listening out that you're playing the f sharp as the second note of the scale on the way down so the left hand on the way down mirrors the right hand one two three one two three four five on the way up it goes five four three two one three two one whole thing both going down and back up again one two say the numbers one two three one two three four five five four three two one three two one if you'd like to play them hands together you're not required to but it's a good exercise in reinforcing the fingering patterns. So the ones play together, the twos play together, the threes play together, even the thumb cross happens at the same time. Threes, fours, fives. Okay. The tricky part, of course, is that the F sharps don't necessarily play it together at the same time. That would be too easy, all right? But on the way in, the right hand goes fours, threes, twos, ones, threes, F sharp in the left hand. So I'm going to play both going out, and if you want to play along, you can do so. One, two, say the numbers. Ones, twos, threes, ones, 